And thanks for watching us. I'm Demetria McClinton. Dan Schaefer has the night off. Tonight, the fight is still underway over the small fish near the future site of the Mazda Toyota Manufacturing USA plant. We 31 learned the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service has agreed to try to find an alternative habitat for that fish to live. Now, that's all in order to keep the spring pygmy sunfish from going extinct. We 31 City Martin talked with nonprofit Tennessee Riverkeeper along with the Center of Biological Diversity to find out what this means for their lawsuit against Mazda Toyota and the city of Huntsville. I think that they uh, need that if they have an opportunity to relocate the fish, that would be the best of all worlds. The nonprofit Tennessee River Keeper told Way 31 the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service announced it might have an area that may be suitable for the endangered spring pygmy sunfish. But this is not the magical solution to all of the problems. We encourage Toyota and Mazda to follow the laws and to do take every step that they can to make sure that they protect the current populations and the current habitat of the rare and endangered spring pygmy sunfish. David Whiteside told us it's still too soon to know if the habitat is suitable for the fish to help it not only reproduce, but also to thrive and possibly get off the endangered species list. During the next five months, experts from the service will be analyzing the conditions of an unknown site on Wheeler National Wildlife Refuge to determine if it will be a good home, according to Whiteside. We want to make sure that the spring pygmy sunfish survives for the future in as many sites as possible, and we don't want to put all of our eggs in one basket and say, okay, now that we have this new site, new habitat designated, we can forget about all the other habitats. Whiteside also told us protecting the fish at its existing creek near the Mazda Toyota future site is still the center for biological diversity and the river keeper's priority because it's not guaranteed that the population will survive in the new site. And Lozorn told us he hopes that a permanent home for the fish is found soon because he believes it's just delaying growth in the area. There's an old saying, time's money. And uh, you're talking about these jobs we've got to have, and you can look out here and see everybody that's working now on this equipment. Uh, if it's it's going to happen, so the sooner the better, and let's get the pygmy fish, whatever, taken care of. Now the Center for Biological Diversity said that if the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service doesn't complete that critical habitat designation by the end of January, then they will continue to take legal action against them. In Huntsville, Sydney Martin, Way 31 News. All right, thanks so much, Sydney. And now the 60-day wait period for when the Tennessee Riverkeeper and the Center for Biological Diversity can sue Mazda Toyota and the city of Huntsville. It ends on October 15th. Both organizations would not comment if the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service work would make them stop from suing project leaders in order to save the fish.